Shopify product page customization. Create high converting product pages. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can convert your average product page on Shopify into a high converting page. So let's get into it. Now, one thing I will note is that I have this little section over here within my product pages, and this section is actually derived from an application. So if you want to integrate, you know, your delivery times, your estimated delivery dates, then I do have a video on that already on how you can integrate those into your Shopify website. So make sure to check that out if you want to know more about that. Now, more on actually improving the overall quality of your Shopify product page to be able to get a higher converting page. So there are a few key elements that you need to integrate and we're going to get started with those. So the first thing you have to do is head on over to your Shopify dashboard. And once you're in your dashboard, you want to click on online store over here. Once you click on online store, you will be able to see what is your current theme and you're going to click on customize over here. Now, once you click on customize, you are going to go ahead and, you know, you can open up any page you want. You can go into any product page that you have. So let's say we have this sample t-shirt or go ahead with another product. Let's say we are going to go for default product or maybe even the hoodie product over here. So you guys can see this is like the product that I'm going to be using as an example today. So the first thing you're going to know is we don't have a description added you are going to integrate a description and you are also going to integrate more information about the product. So I have ratings over here, but I want to move these ratings down below the buy buttons. And after that, we have our description over here. This description is going to be moved to the top over here like this, where you're going to enter more information about the product. Now below that, you have any app widgets as well as recommended products. Now, once you have your images, you want to make sure you're including multiple different images with each individual product. Plus, you also have the media width as well as the media to screen height. So I want to keep this at an original size. I don't want this to be filled out. And then you have your layout where if you want this to be stacked or two columns. So that is one option as well. I want this to be stacked. Now, after that, you will have your image options and padding. So if you want your image to, you know, have a lot of white space around it or not. So I'm going to add some white space to the image over here. Below that, you have some theme settings and custom CSS. Now, another very essential part is metadata, which I'm going to break down for you guys, because without metadata, your Shopify pages really get a new field whenever you're adding metadata. And with that improvement, with that new field, you can really make it your own. So let's say we have this section over here. If I click on add block over here in my product information and click on text. So let's say this is our text block and I'm going to edit this. I'm just going to add composition. Now, if I add composition and I just add, you know, all of the materials, those would be added in all of these sections. So I want to add dynamic data within my Shopify store. And if you add one block, this would be added to all of them. However, all of my products don't need composition. They don't have composition requirements. So how can you add meta fields or metadata within that? So to do that, I'm just going to save my page till here and we're going to exit into our dashboard. Once you've exited into your dashboard, click on settings on the bottom left. And once you click on settings, you're going to scroll down and you have the option of custom data at the bottom. You're going to click on custom data. Now in custom data, we're looking to add metadata into our products. So you're going to click on products over here. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on add definition and you're going to add the name. So the name for this particular type of meta field might be composition over here now i am going to add this over here and you will have your namespace and key and then you can add a description next up you're going to select the type of meta field this is so for us this is going to be a multi-line text if it's going to be longer or if it's pretty short then you can choose a single line text as well this could also be a product file, decimal, or integer, as well as date and time. 
You can also include your shipping dates and times over here like this as well. If you are using your own delivery services, then adding your own times and delivery dates is, you know, a whole lot more helpful. I'm going to add a multi-line text. Now you will have your validation. So the minimum could be zero and then the maximum i'm not going to add 100 and then we have your regular expression which is going to be alphabetic characters then we're going to click on save over here now i need to include the minimum character amount to one now once we've done this so once you've added your definition of a meta field you're going to go into your product so whichever product you have and whichever one you want to add information to, just go into your product section, open up that particular product. So this is our product over here. And if you scroll down right over here, you're going to find the option of meta fields at the bottom of the product. So you're going to click on the option of meta fields, which is composition in our case. And I can add the composition 100% pure cotton or whatever composition you want to add. Let's say it's 50% cotton, 50% uh, wool. And then we're gonna click on save over here. Now it currently has percentages, so I would have to change from alphabetical characters to alphanumeric characters. That is a mistake that I made on my part because I did not realize that I had to do that. So I'm going to go back into our settings because I did not realize when I was adding my meta field. So I'm going to go into product and go into composition. And in our regular expression pattern, I'm going to add alphanumeric characters instead of just alphabetical characters we're going to save that go back into our product go into any product that we want scroll down into our meta field and we're going to just test this out over here 100 percent cotton and then we can click on save over here okay, our values have an error like this so after I have inserted the meta field information, I can actually view my product over here just to see what it's like. So this is our product currently. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add this info into our product display. So to do that, we're going to go into online store. And once we go into our online store, we're going to click on customize again on our theme template. Then you're going to open up any product page that you have. So we're going to go into our products over here and we're going to scroll into our hoodie product. Now, after we do this, we're going to go into our product template over here that you see and we're going to click on add block. Now, with your add block, you can click on text over here and in your text block you can title it whatever but you're just going to click on this icon over here which is like a three layered icon and you're going to click on add meta field and you're going to connect the meta field that you want or you know build a new meta field if you want for that you know for those particular category or collections of products or we can link our composition meta field as well so in this way, you can actually get started with, you know, building information and building a higher converting Shopify page that is more customizable and more oriented to provide all of the information for a customer's needs. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.